Hello. This is Fastec. I'd like to introduce how to select motor at the ball screw system. The following box is an example of customer requirements. Weight is 20 kilograms. Travel distance is 130 millimeters. Travel time is 1 second. Acceleration deceleration time is 0.2 seconds. The customer will apply a 42 millimeter size motor and wants M or L motor length. To use Fastex motor selection guide, please access on Fastex homepage and put mouse pointer on the support tab. And then you can select motor selection guide or you can click the motor guide icon below the main window. If you go to the motor selection guide screen, you can select and use four types of systems as follows. The current system is a ball screw system. So if you select ball screw, you will see a screen like this. If you scroll down, you will see a screen where you can enter data. There are several boxes, and you only need to enter the data in the yellow boxes. The weight was 20 kilograms, so enter 20 for the weight of the table and work. And the travel distance was 130 millimeters, but since the unit of the box is centimeter, enter 13. Enter 1 for positioning time and 0.2 for acceleration deceleration time. The diameter, hole length, and pitch of the ball screw can be entered by referring to the catalog of the ball screw used by the customer. Next part is the external force. External force is a force that is continuously applied to the load, excluding the weight of the table and workpiece. In this example system, enter zero because the external force is zero. For encoder resolution, please refer to Fastec catalog and enter the desired resolution. The installation angle is zero for horizontal use and 90 for vertical use. Since we assumed that the ball screw is used horizontally, please enter zero for the angle. This is an example without a gearbox, but if you use a gearbox, you can enter the gear ratio of the gearbox. Enter 10 for gear ratio 1 to 10, and 18 for gear ratio 1 to 18. In the case of gear efficiency, if you use a planetary gearbox, the efficiency is generally 90%, so please enter 0.9. If it is a two-stage planetary gearbox, the value would be 0.9 times 0.9, which is 0.81. If you use a worm gearbox, the general efficiency is 50%, so please enter 0.5. This example doesn't use the gearbox, so please enter 1 to gear ratio and gear efficiency. The safety ratio is an empirically selected value by the engineer considering uncertainties. As in the case, when there are few uncertain factors and all items can be clearly stated without error. The recommended safety ratio is 1.5 to 2, and in this example, 2 is applied. It is recommended to use a higher safety ratio, if the input value contains an uncertain factor such as an external force, that is difficult to calculate accurately. When you finish entering and click calculate. The calculated result is displayed as shown on the screen. The values we need to check are the rotation speed and operating torque of the motor at the bottom of the motor selection section. As the example was calculated, it turns out that we need to find a motor that can produce torque larger than 0.067 Nm at 1950 rpm. Please click the button here to see the torque graph of the motor. Torque graphs from 20 to 86 mm size motor will be shown. Since we decided to use a 42 mm sized motor, let's check the data of 42 mm motors. The result calculated earlier was a motor with a torque larger than 0.067 Nm at 1950 rpm. In the case of 42 mm motors, all motors meet the condition at about 2000 rpm. Therefore, we can recommend a 42M motor that can produce the largest torque at 2000 rpm. Please remember that the motor's moment of inertia is 54 gram square centimeter and the motor's torque is about 0.1 newton meter at 2000 rpm. We need to check the validity of the motor by entering the inertia value in this box and calculating the required torque with the motor inertia. 
If you enter 54 as the moment of inertia of the 42M motor into the yellow box and click, calculate. The required torque value is calculated as 0.078 newton meter considering the moment of inertia. Since 42M motor can produce the torque of 0.1 newton meter at 2000 rpm, 0.078 is an acceptable range. Finally, let's verify the validity of motor selection by calculating the moment of inertia ratio K. The moment of inertia K is the value obtained by dividing the inertia of the load by the inertia of the rotor. And if it exceeds the recommended inertia ratio, the motor may step out, stop or vibrate. Typical stepping motors allow inertia ratios from 1 to 5 to 1 to 10, whereas closed loop stepping motors can allow inertia ratios of up to 1 to 30. It is not recommended to use the motor if this value exceeds 30 because it might cause problems. If the load inertia is too large and the inertia ratio exceeds 30, use a larger motor or a gearbox to reduce the inertia ratio. In this case, the inertia ratio is 2.43, so we assume that 42M size motor is suitable for the example system. On the Fastec website www.fastec-motions.com, you can download product-related materials such as catalogs, manuals, drawings, and watch demonstration videos, and webinars. Also, if you search, Fastec, on YouTube, you can see more than 100 demonstration and webinar videos. Thank you for listening.